So after discussing rumors about the DCEU Batman, in the hopes that Ben Affleck might return for an HBO Max series, there's still that other Batman film. Oh, yes, remember? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Batman, directed by Matt Reeves, starring Robert Pattinson as Batman. And for the most part, it's been discussed that it uh, more or less will be an adaption of Long Halloween, which uh, fits in line with the idea of this being a, a detective story, which we haven't really seen for the most part in the Batman films of him solving a crime. Uh, and being the overall point of the film, uh, showing off uh, his detective skills. And uh, with Long Halloween and that aspect is that a lot of the popular villains of Batman would play a role in this as suspects. And so I'm thinking quite a few would be uh, reduced to being, well, reduced somewhat, but to maybe glorified cameos. <laughs> With a few taking the, the center stage. It's been rumored also that the Riddler would play a bigger role in this. Um, and so uh, he would be the main villain. The Penguin would have a big role in it as kind of like this mobster character, which works best for the Penguin as being this shady uh, club owner and that sort of thing, and that he's a guy with information and that the Batman would, uh, you know, torment <laughs> to get information out of <laughs> and that sort of thing. But he wouldn't be the actual murderer. And it probably wouldn't be. It, it, maybe it is the Riddler or maybe it's not. Uh, but now the latest rumor is, will the Joker appear? The Joker being the ultimate Batman villain, of course. The argument against it is, oh man, the Joker again? It's like Superman and Lex Luthor. I mean, it's like, come on. Uh, so, but the problem with that is you keep telling them you love the Joker. <laughs> so, but uh, is it likely he will appear in this film? Uh, somewhat in that structure of being one of the suspects and would his scene be all that much as it was in uh, the long Halloween which it had quite a substantial uh, scene there would be quite the action scene you know the Joker actually being jealous of the real killer in that case a holiday and all that um, and and so but I doubt that it would be that extensive uh, to you know, how much of that can you squeeze in to a two-hour film um, and so I'm thinking, yeah, he would have a, a confrontation of sorts. Uh, he would have a cameo. He would be a suspect, but he wouldn't really be the killer, ultimately, and uh, what this uh, murder mystery would be. So Abounding in the Comics talks to this, and there's been quite a few people insinuating it, saying they've heard this or what have you, uh, that they're, uh, you know, they're, this might be the case, and that this would be a new Joker. It wouldn't be Leto or, or certainly not Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so one of the names being tossed around was Johnny Depp, but he's the age between him and Pattinson is quite a bit. Uh, I'm sure Johnny Depp would make a fa fantastic Joker, but I don't know if that would fit in with what this story would be. Maybe, I don't know, but uh, we'll see what that's about. But anyway, several scoopers and uh, people on Twitter uh, uh, they reference one here, uh, is it Imri Kaya, I guess, uh, jumped on the news saying he heard months ago the Joker would indeed be in The Batman. He added, casting hasn't been revealed yet, so the part will probably get filled by a stunt person or body double. So, yeah, you could even have it where they don't even cast the role for the first film, because uh, the other rumor is that this is part one of a trilogy. So I don't know that the story continues like there's a cliffhanger or something, but it introduces this Batman in this particular mystery. I hope not. I think it would be great if he just solves it, but it establishes this world and then you can move on to another story for the next two films. But you can lay the groundwork for those films and possibly the Joker would play a big role in the other two. Uh, and you wouldn't even need to really cast it. You could, yeah, you could have someone dressed up as a Joker in the background and some dialogue and whatnot, and the Batman tries to catch him and doesn't, or something along those lines, but it becomes clear he's not the, the suspect in this particular crime. Something like that. Uh, Tyrant Vicky <laughs> on Twitter reports for the cinema spot with either surprised by her prescience or slyly conceded a scoop when she retweeted her fantasy booking and commented it wasn't simple speculation. Tyrant Vicky wrote the following on June 3rd, Riddler, Bane, and Joker would be a really good set of main villains for Reeves' Joker. I think Nightfall would be very interesting as a story, and Joker would make a lot of sense as a trilogy capper. So, uh, I don't know if Nightfall would be another one they would adapt, but I suppose it could be. 
in, in the sequel. But uh, the uh, a death in the family, which is the death of Jason Todd story uh, at the hands of the Joker, is another one that they would think could be one to be adapted. Another rumor about the Batman is that Robin would be introduced in it, and it stands to reason as is they it's constantly being referenced that this is the second year of Batman. Uh, he's in his second year of his career, and about that time, it makes sense that this might be the time he meets uh, young Dick Grayson, who becomes Robin. And uh, But then that would be Dick Grayson, so maybe they would change it around to where there is no Dick Grayson, and he meets Jason Todd instead. And, of course, Jason Todd ultimately is uh, killed by the Joker and uh, this puts Batman in a very difficult spot about how he uh, approaches that. Um, or, I, uh, yeah, with Jason Todd being the first Robin and all that, but they, they've already changed a lot about it anyway, so maybe that's what they would do for that story. Or there's some years in between the films, you know, and uh, they changed that up. Um, but uh, Nightfall and Death of the Family, maybe that's the deal. They're going to adapt actual comic book stories uh, for their movie material, which is not a bad idea. There's a lot to choose from. And uh, certainly the Nolan films did that somewhat with, uh, you know, uh, Batman Year One for Batman Begins. Uh, to a certain degree, Batman vs. Superman adapted Dark Knight Returns, but only in, like, kind of Easter eggery type stuff. In a lot of ways, maybe they should have just done a full-on adaption of that and just stated, this is the future and the other films are what takes place in between Man of Steel and Dark Knight Returns. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that would have been, I don't know. But anyway, uh, so that's an interesting thing. That, that, that they might be looking at those two. I'm not sure how they would weave that into this, but uh, obviously they wouldn't be direct adaptions, and I don't think the Batman would be a full-on adaption of, dark, of uh, Long Halloween, but similar in tone and the idea of you know mobsters and then, of course, the supervillains and this murder mystery, and Batman uh, is tapped with having to solve it. So... Uh, there is some amount of credibility that, yes, there will be a Joker in it, and possibly not even cast yet to be cast later for two, one of the other films in this uh, trilogy, should it reach completion. <laughs> but I, I think it probably will. So there you go, uh, possibly the Joker again, and uh, used in this manner uh, as just, you know, one of the uh, villains that lives in the world of Batman, I think is perfectly fine. I know there's a uh, a, a feeling of enough of Joker already, and I don't think he should have much of center stage at all. He does kind of suck the oxygen out of the room when he appears, but uh, it would be rather brief, I think. And the, 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 the core of the story would be the mystery itself and Batman going through these different uh, characters from his rogues gallery uh, of trying to solve it. And uh, that would make that's that that has the, the makings of a great film. So, uh, yeah, I don't really have a problem with him appearing in it. I don't want him to steal the show uh, just by appearing. He kind of does, but I think that can be handled in a means by which he really would. So that so uh, yeah, there's some amount of credibility that there will be a Joker in the film. Uh, if only they just mention him, and maybe just hear laughter in the background or something like that. Yeah, you know, maybe that. But uh, as far as, you know, uh, being the main villain and all that, no, no, I don't think that would be the case. So, uh, yeah, the, this is it's just a rumor, but it, it, it makes a sort of sense in what the other uh, details of this film has been about. And uh, provided those are true as well, um, that makes sense that this is a possibility that Joker will be in the Batman. All right, thank you for watching and listening. So, why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my mini stores and have plenty of goodies for you. You know, hats, mugs, stickers, posters, all that goody goody stuff. Plus, you can head over to indieplanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Plus, you can also catch my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, over at RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on my channel at BitChute. That's the Mr. Nelson channel on BitChute.com.